YouTube, we're back with another Infinite Warfare video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the weapons and just a brief overview. I'm not going to be going through in detail of the different things, but I'm going to give you a brief overview of all the things that so far on the menu. So to start off, you have your uh, mission teams. And what these are, they're just like challenges. Um, I think the closest way I can, like, I guess, compare them is like the Black Ops 3 challenges for crypto keys, but these give you XP. So it's kind of like the contracts in Black Ops 1. Um, so far, I don't know if they give you different things I'm guessing they give you like different rewards for depending on like what team you're playing on but let's go into create a class we have all the rigs right here I'm gonna go ahead and just scroll through these real quick I'm not gonna read them but to my understanding the this gun this one so far is the one I've used I've used this one I've used synaptic but this one's kind of like a submachine gun that bounces off walls when you use his weapon but he also has overdrive and combat focus, just depending on like what you want to use. I have yet to use this guy. I probably will use him next, though. Um, going into this one, it's a robot, and he has these like dual machine guns. And then I think this is the guy that I can actually turn into like the robot dog thing. But I'm just gonna scroll over these because I have no idea what they do. But I'm just gonna show you guys. Alright, going into loadouts, I'm going to start with the assault rifles. First we have the NV4, which is a full auto ballistic rifle, moderate fire rate, yields increased stability for best class, in, best in class accuracy, ideal for mid to long range engagement. So this is the first gun I've used so far, I've got it up to level 4. And um, I would say it's just a, it's your basic assault rifle, it's like the M4 and COD4, it's like, um, I guess, I wouldn't say the KM4, but it's more like the HVK type feel for it but this is your standard assault rifle and then of course they have the three round burst standard assault rifle so in comparison I have gotten one burst I don't know if like that was weak but I did one burst someone almost across the map with this gun so this is a, the R3K which is a three round burst energy rifle it says each burst applies extreme stopping power at precise intervals like I said I did get a one burst with that don't know if it's god tier like the M8 or the XR2 but it, it felt nice. So next we have the KBAR32, which is a full auto ballistic rifle, which channels a fast rate of fire through a lightweight mold for increased hip fire control and mobility. So I feel like this is kind of be, going to be like the equivalent to the HVK in Black Ops 3, because it's it, that lightweight and the HVK felt like a submachine gun type assault rifle. So I think this might be the equivalent to that. It's got a 79 fire weight down, down in here at the bottom. I actually have a different version of this gun. So yeah, so you see at the top, this says it's a common gun, so I got this out of supply drop, and it comes with a perk, I guess, so if you, if you play Destiny, then you know what these things are, and you always go for a gun that has a better roll, but this one says it comes with readiness, which reloads faster when the mag is empty, and it stacks with dexterity, which is a perk, so that's that's pretty cool, that's nice to see, and it's got a nice little camo on it, but it is a common. Let's go on to the Type 2. This is a full auto energy rifle where you hold triangle to split the rifle into a Kimbo auto pistol mode for close quarter combat. Features the highest rate of fire in class. This is the gun that you see in the XP, COD XP gameplay and the gameplays that T Martin and stuff like that post. This gun looks super crazy and you unlock it at level 22. So I'm going to be showing you guys gameplay of that when I do get it. And the last in the assault rifle category is the Volk, which Full auto energy rifle, deploys best in class stopping power at a low dependable fire rate. Fire rate. This literally is an AK with like a battery on it. Like you can literally see there's like a, oh, I didn't know you can do that. There's a freaking battery on the back of this gun. Yeah, you can get a good look at that. Let's go into the SMGs. So we got the ARAD, which is a full auto energy firearm. A wide dispersion muzzle dampens recoil, providing higher accuracy in class. I have not used this gun, I don't think. Actually, yeah, I have. I'm level 2. I don't think that... I don't know if I like this. I've, I've only used it, you know, for maybe half a game. But this gun, on the other hand, this gun is amazing. I've been using this one. I've been overkilling it with that three-round burst gun. So this is the FHR-40, which it literally feels like the P90. It's a full auto ballistic firearm, offsets a modest range with extreme fire rate thanks to a unique magnetic bolt carrier. 
Don't know what that means, but I know this gun is god tier. Well, so far it's god tier in the beta. Pulling up, we get the Karma 45, which is a Vesper. It looks like it's just a Vesper. Um, so full auto ballistic firearm, built-in dual magazines provide faster reloads, increased ammo capacity. Uh, haven't used it, can't tell you much about it, so I'm just going to go to the next gun. The Reaper Evo. This is the uh, Reaper from COD Ghost. It's the one that switches to the assault rifle, and they can play a sub. But when you switch with an assault rifle, it pops up a little scope right here on the back, and then, of course, submachine gun mode. It pulls out like the quick draw, the stock. So it's full auto ballistic firearm, whole triangle to toggle, assault rifle mode, and integrated hybrid sight enhances long range engagements. So just like the COD Ghost version, this is that gun. Now last in the sub, we have the HVR, which that looks like an MP40 to me. I don't know if you guys get the same feel, but that looks like an MP40 to me without a, a back. Or maybe even an MP5. No, that's more of an MP5. So this has a full auto ballistic firearm, uses heavy terrestrial ammo for best in class stopping power. Well, that's interesting. It has a like a default blue on it. Let's go into LMGs. So first we have the raw. Haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you much about it. Just gonna read what it says. Full auto energy weapon offers a dependable fire rate and high capacity power spell for sustained output. I haven't got killed by this either. I literally have no idea what this gun is. But I'm guessing it's similar to the saw. So there's that. The Mauler, a full auto heavy ballistic weapon, experimental gauge and delinker. Channels ultra rapid fire and a tight hip spread. This thing looks like a beast. I haven't used any of these guns, so I'm just going to read them. Lastly, we have the Titan, which is a full auto energy weapon. So there's a pattern. All these guns at the end are energy rep weapons. Are they? Well, never mind. This is terrestrial. They just got like mods on them, I guess. Oh, and you can't get them because they're not available until you get the full game. So that makes sense. So they are like the special weapon in the category. Let's go on the sniper rifle. So this is the longbow. This is the gun I think you see Pomage use in his videos when he was at uh, XP and before that when he was playing the game early. So it's a bolt action ballistic rifle. One shot, one kill from the waist up. Rechambering breaks scope's aim. Um, EBR, I think this is the same as any other EBR, I think the M21 was the EBR, so yeah, it's the same. Actually, it looks like the M21 too, kind of like if you guys watch played COD 4, this looks like the M21 from COD 4. So, semi automatic energy rifle, hold triangle to activate assault rifle mode for automatic fire and reduce power consumption. So, this is literally a hybrid between the M21 and M14 because if you played COD 4, you know that the M21 had the scope on it. But it was literally the same gun. I used to personally overkill the M14 and M21 just so I could have more ammo. I was a nerd and I did that. I put the ACOG scope on both of them. They were similar. So this gun, I'm guessing, drops the scope, maybe? So you can use it like a an assault rifle? I'll test that out at level 5 when I get there. Widowmaker. Two round burst bolt action ballistic rifle features a unique chamber stack for predictable two round burst fire and a lightweight mold for increased mobility. This sounds a lot like the DBSR, just not as big, maybe. I think that's what it means, but it, it looks pretty cool. Then lastly, we have the DMR1, which is a semi auto ballistic rifle update design, retains a top loading clip while granting moderate stopping power and low recoil, allows early clip ejection. I don't know what to say much about this gun. Can't really tell you what it looks. It looks familiar, but I don't. Can't really compare that to anything. All right, shotguns. We have the Reaver. Let's start it off, which is a semi-auto ballistic shotgun. Features a sick, sick click, sick, sick. All right, I can't say the word. Drum magazine. Yeah, I know what it's trying to say, like a cylinder type thing, but no, I can't say the word. All right, drum magazine for a quick trigger response. Alright, so it's semi-automatic, that's AIDS. Let's go on to the Banshee. Pump action sonic shotgun employs a high decibel acoustic driver yielding balance, stopping power, and fire rate. 
that kind of just sounds like the Banshee that we had, so. All right, the DCM-8, full auto energy shotgun, rapid fire capabilities supported by high capacity power, so. That just looks, it looks like a half a PO-6. And then we got the Rack 9, which is a pump action ballistic shotgun, 12 gauge terrestrial ammo, provides superior stopping power, while the integrated choke increases aim down sight accuracy. That just looks like a normal shotgun. This looks like a normal shotgun. This one, not so much. All right, lastly, we have the classic. Now, the way this works is when you prestige in game, you get a token and you can use the token to unlock one of these guns. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to unlock them because although I'm going to be playing this all weekend, they're not available unless you have the full game. So, this right here is the OSA, which is the ACR. Full auto ballistic rifle. Wait, is this the ACR? Full auto ballistic rifle celebrated for rapid, powerful fire and integrated grenade launcher. Is this the. What? That kind of looks like a. Hold on. Yeah, so I guess that's the ACR. Next up, we have the Mac Tab 45, which is just the UMP 45. Full auto ballistic firearm, popular with the old earth agencies for delivering high stopping power at range despite a low fire rate. This looks more like the UMP-45 from um, CSGO than it does the one from Model Warfare 2. But it is a UMP-45. Next we have the Intervention, which is called the TF-141, which is a bolt-action ballistic rifle renowned for superior stability, handling, and unforgiving recoil. So that is literally the Intervention in Infinite Warfare, guys. It's confirmed. There you go. Next we have the S-Ravage. That's funny. I don't know if you guys know who Sandy Ravage is, but he used to make dope ass uh, montages, and I'm pretty sure like one of his most featured guns were the sh was was the shotgun, like Modern Warfare 2, and it was the Spaz 12. So this is the Spaz 12. If you guys did not know, it's a pump action ballistic shotgun, an esteemed and rugged firearm that trades a slower chamber rate for an incredible range of stopping power. That's cool. That's, I think that's I I don't know if that's why they put the name, but that's actually if it is, that's badass. And then lastly, we have the M1, which is the M1 Grand. I've seen, we've seen this three years in a row, haven't we? And AW, they released the M1 Grand, then Black Ops 3, and then did they release it? No. Okay, we've seen it. This will be three years in a row. Yeah, so there's three years in a row of the M1 Grand, which is semi-auto ballistic rifle, an old reliable service rifle with a moderate stopping power and low recoil. The top loading clip must be exhausted to reload. So just like the Black Ops 3 version, you have to shoot the clip fully in order to reload. You can't just hit square and reload the gun. All right, let's go to the, to the uh, secondaries. So we got the EMC, which is a semi-auto energy pistol, reliably delivers consistent stopping power. I've used this for one kill, and it was the fastest kill of my life. Not even kidding. Next, we have the Ani, which is a full-auto energy pistol. features a harmonic microcontroller that accelerates fire rate over time. No idea what this is, so I can't tell you. Then these two are available in full game. This one's a Kindle 44, which is semi-auto ballistic pistol, while it's ultra-fast trigger cycling and a lightweight mold for increased hip fire control. And last, the Hailstorm, three-round burst ballistic pistol. Has a triple chamber stack for rapid three-round burst. Wait, is this like McCree in Call of Duty? Like high nooning or fan the hammer type shit? Now we have the launchers. I don't really want to read these, but I, I don't know. So this is kind of like your standard rocket. I think it's a, sing, it's a single fire rocket. It can be dumb fired, like it says in the description, so you can just freely shoot it. This is what the uh, trolls like using. And um, But it can't lock on. So next we have a energy launcher, which deploys plasma charges that explode for extreme flat Extreme splash damage. This just sounds like kind of like a grenade launcher type thing. It's like some Destiny type shit. And then last we have the Howitzer, which is a grenade launcher. So actually this is an actual launcher. So this is the grenade launcher, which launches quick deadly projectiles that explode on impact. That makes me question if noob tubes are actually back in full effect. Then we have our combat knife. And then the Glock 18, which is known as the Hornet in this game is back. Alright, I'm just going to go through some camos real quick on these guns. 
So I got the Neon Tiger already. But I'm gonna go through the multiplayer first. You got Desert, Urban Tac, Wilderness, Whiteout, which looks badass. Murdered, Murdered Out? I didn't even see that. That looks badass too. Arctic Tech, Mars, Mojave, and a Coral Mesh. That's a nice little camo. Then here's the, the multiplayer or the army one so far. You got the Neon Tiger, Stud, Anodized, that's that's actually my favorite. Tactical Pink, which kind of just looks like the Coral, just switched to pink instead of Coral. Silver Falcon, and then Psychedelic. Holy shit. All right, let's go through some of the lethals. Cluster Grenade, which is exactly what it sounds like. Exploding Drone. Um. Okay, so this is C4. Yeah, this is definitely C4. So you launch an aerial drone that explodes on impact or remotely with R2 or by double tapping square. So they're wanting you to abuse this. This is a plasma grenade, which is just a Simtex plasma type thing. Um, this sticks out nearby enemies. And then you have your trip mine. What is this? Rocket propelled system that delivers a time sticky plastic payload. Oh, okay. well, there you go. This Fletcher grenade is a project. What is this? Splits into multiple propelled grenades on impact. So is this just like this? Oh, that's cookable. This one's not. Then we have our black hole, which I, you guys probably seen uh, people actually use this. And then there's the C4. So difference, this one can stick. This one can. And it's a drone, so it hovers in the air or some shit. So tactical is we have a personal radar. Sound is literally what it sounds like. We have a zero or a cry creo mine. I, I don't know what that is. Magnetic mine that releases a super coolant cloud, hindering movement systems. So it's kind of like an EMP. Um, we have a jammer, which jams minimap movement and aiming systems, which also sounds like it. Okay, so this is like an EMP, and this this is an EMP. It actually says on the side. And this one just messes up your movement. Um, This is a dome shield. Exactly what it sounds like. It's like the Titan in Destiny. We have a trophy system. Which is a trophy system, and then you have a smoke grenade, blackout grenade to stun. Wow! And then you have a nano shot, which is a activated combat stimulant that supercharges health regeneration. So all of these things very different, something we're not really used to. Now, last but not least, I'm going to go into perks because I know you guys want to see the perks. So we have recon, which is makes your minimap bigger, and you gain a single radar sweep when a standard enemy UAV appears, and another when it dies. We have blind eye, which is blind eye. We have blast shield, exactly what it sounds like. We got overclock, which is how it was used in Black Ops 3. We have ghost, which is exactly how it is used in Black Ops 3. Wait, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, then we and it shows you what you counter too. That's pretty cool. All right, and then we have dexterity, which reloaded as a switch weapon. Fast. Okay, so this is fast hands from Black Ops 3. I don't know if I was saying Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2 when I was describing the other perks. Alright, so now to the second perk, the green perk. We have first off tack resist, which is a like tack mask. I don't know if it completely resists it, but it's an increased resistance. So I, I don't know. Um hardline, which gain is hardline, you gain a bonus points for each kill up to eight kills. So it limits you at eight. That's interesting. Two assists will give you the same bonus. Momentum, which is just sprint faster over time, jumping, sliding, and wall running will reset your momentum. Tracker, which is the same as it was, but okay, so if you have dead silence or active camo, they can still see you. Cold blooded, same as it was, and it of course counters thermals, perception, I don't know what that is, and the personal radar. And then we have scavenger, which is scavenger. Last, we have Gung Ho, which is the same. You can shoot, use equipment, and source tricks while sprinting. Pinpoint, which outlines enemies when dealing or taking weapon damage. Hardwired, which immunes you to EMP effects and 
blocks equipment or abilities that outline you for enemies. So if you have this perk, this perk does not work. We have Marksman, which acquires enemy names from a greater distance. So the same as Modern Warfare 3, but it reduces the flinch that primarily affects your sniper rifles, but gives a very minor benefit to other weapons. Um, that's interesting. I kind of want to use that. Engineer, detect enemy equipment and score streaks through walls and delay activation of enemy mines. Plant the bomb silently. So this does what Ghost did in Black Ops 3. When you plant a bomb, Oh, actually, no. Ghost allows you to not be seen when you're planting the bomb. This just makes it quiet when you plant the bomb. So, planting the bomb is going, like, when you hear that, that's going to be back in this game. And then we have Dead Silence, which is footsteps and jump packs are silent. So, this, they, they did what we wanted, and they made it to where Dead Silence is Dead Silence. Only thing, like, last year, we had to use Blast Suppressor and Dead Silence, and then someone would hit us with a ban on, like, blast suppressor so we'd have to throw on like tack mask or something they could see us jump around you shouldn't have to have two perks to do the same thing and here they fixed it now it just literally you, makes everything quiet it's silent but that will do it for the overview I guess oh I'll, I'll, I guess score streaks there's one more thing we'll go over score streaks and that will be it that will be this video so we have the UAV which is UAV Scarab, which is a uh, remote hover device that releases a multi-stage Creo explosion upon detonation. So what is Creo? Do I just not know or is it something in the game? Um, we have a drone package, which is the care package. We have a counter UAV. A Vulture, which is, I'm guessing, like a uh, Talon. Trinity Rocket, which is the same as what a Trinity Rocket really is. Scorchers, which is a uh, three prototype Scorcher Jets, which is, this, okay, so this is like an airstrike. Bombardment, which is a weapon satellite bombardment. Wait, why? Okay, so Trinity Rocket, this, I, I don't understand. I think these are very similar, but I guess I gotta use it. This one's not available until you play the full game, but this one's available in here, so I might be using that. Shock Sentry, which is a turret that fires electrically charged rounds, inflicts damage to the turret and nearby enemies. Warden, which is an escort dropship with two firing modes. Advanced UAV, which is the same as what it used to be. A Thor, which is a tactical high output response missile with rapid fire, rapid launching capabilities. I feel like this was an advanced warfare. We have the RC-8, which is a heavily armored C C-8, which is I guess a robot with auto and manual control capabilities. You can actually control this, that's badass. And then the Apex, which is a uh, remote anti-personnel weapon with heavy ar armaments. Armaments, my bad. So, there's new shit in this game. I just went over all the stuff in the creator class section. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, please drop a like. I'll be dropping in Infinite Warfare videos throughout the weekend and throughout next week until the open beta. And as always, until next time, I'm out.